Hey everyone, how's it going? Octopus here and welcome back to Ever Crisis. I'm going to be giving you all the tips and tricks that I went through while playing this game, learning as I went. But now that I've actually got to this power level, I want to teach you guys what you should prioritize and what you shouldn't be afraid of. There's a lot of quests that I went in. And I was like, oh, that's nine to eight thousand. I can't beat that. You can beat that. I've done it at sixty eight thousand. I did it at forty thousand and I kept on just doing things that were higher than my level in order to pass it just so I can get that extra gear, extra material I need. So I'm going to give you all the tips and tricks that you need to slowly or quickly upgrade your account to the place you need to be especially for that event right now you need 104,000 to beat the biggest one for a title I think we can do it before the event ends so I'm gonna teach you all that in this video all right so I want to start off this video by showing you my account this is a free-to-play account no money spent uh, I have over 75 stamina refills I believe or maybe 83 I've got 83 stamina refills. The game gives you a whole bunch, especially as you progress more through the story, complete all the quests. You're going to be able to just keep on farming like crazy. At least for now, later on, it's probably going to slow down. But here's the main point. My account is Barrett 21K, Cloud 31K, and Aerith at 22K. Give me a grand total of 75,000 power level. And this is going to help to pass a lot of content. So how did I get to 75,000? I'm going to show you exactly every single step that I went through and my thought process and where to get the best materials for the biggest gangs. Because just last night, my Murasami was only level 70 and now it's going to be level 90. And I'm going to max out Aerith and Barret's weapon. So my main push here is story. You want to bring your three main characters, work on those three and no one else. Don't spend your resources on five characters, six characters. Find the three strongest characters or the three characters you like and work on them only. Story, here's a huge tip. Even if you can't beat the story with your current party, like in story mode, most likely you guys are using Cloud, you're using Barret, you're using whatever it's telling you, so it's not too hard. But a big takeaway is that in First Soldier or in uh, Crisis Core, your character, maybe Zack, is not worked on. Maybe the three characters in here are not worked on. You don't need to use them to pass this content. Over here, you're going to see that I have this cleared, but I don't have the blue crystal that's here because I didn't use what the game forces you to use. You can click on free party. So if you're ever stuck, but you know you're about to unlock synthesis or material or anything the game has locked behind story, just switch to free play and you can use your own party the strongest characters that you have to pass it and then when your other characters are stronger come back to this later on so i'm able to use my 75,000 in the quest that requires 43,000 with characters you probably don't have gear on so major tip number one three characters into story because you're gonna get a ton of experience here a ton of materials especially the chests that you find as you walk around this is key number one to unlocking everything else the growth the summons everything that's behind a daily a weekly is behind the story so get through story asap now that you know that the other part is solo content right now we do have extra drop rates in enhancement quests so this is really good if you're playing at this point in the game if not i haven't even farmed enhancement quests yet so i haven't got the bonus and i'm at 75,000 because of just the way i've been playing so keep that in mind one big thing here is that as you level up go and get the first clear of everything weapon enhancement you can see i have cleared 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 and this was before i was at seventy-five thousand because i went into these and i made sure to get that initial drop of everything even if i got a really bad rank like c rank or something i still got a big boost of 15 dropped here all the way to down here and so on and so on in every quest i always just went for the first clear after that i stopped and I went to the next quest and the next quest and the next quest and I kept on doing to the point that I couldn't do it and then I went back to the next one and the next one. So that is something you should be doing. Don't focus on farming one thing. Oh, I need experience. I'm gonna, don't even do the experience. <laughs> I've never farmed this, period. The character experience, never. I did my first clear on everything and then I stopped. Do not waste your stamina, you will regret it. Later on, you're gonna be like, oh, I wanna farm this and I can't because you spent it here. It's not worth it. Um, use like an auto clicker, use a, a blue stacks or something, and you can just auto grind this while you're AFK. And I recommend doing the 35,000 over and over because it's the quickest and it gives about a thousand experience per run. Very huge. So main takeaway here in solo content, clear everything you can. Don't farm. I didn't farm. I have not farmed for anything. The only thing I actually farmed for was co-op and I ended up clearing the entire shop because stuff resets weekly. 
So this is the thing that I did over and over and over again was to get co-op coins. Is it the best stamina for resources? Uh, depends what you're looking for and what you're trying to work on. But for me, this worked out really good. And the current event right now is a co-op event. So you can farm the materials you need for that shop, plus get co-op medals and you get drops for enhancements on your weapons. All a win-win there. So I just really want to emphasize those two things. Clear story as far as you can, even if it's not the right party, just bring in your strongest party to get the unlocked content. Everything that you see in solo content, every enhancement, growth chart, everything. So what is the most important things here? The two things that jumped my account like crazy was the battle tower. Get to the battle tower as soon as you can because the first 20 floors are the best floors. I'm currently on floor 26 and this is asking for 78,000. The one before this was 67 and I beat this at 58. Everything before this though drops a ton of materials for upgrading. So these are going to be in your characters, streams, nodes, the Final Fantasy X kind of like system. Every single one of these drop a whole bunch, especially the initial clear like I keep talking about gives you 15 of each and it gets more and more and more as you go for these 20 floors and as soon as you can't do it come back out go upgrade and go back into this this is going to be one of your best places because this growth stream here is going to give you a huge boost and not only in just your power level but your character's hp you can see baird here has an extra thousand hp because of this my clouds are level 43. He's at an extra thousand HP because of this. It makes a huge difference. And a pro tip is work on one limit break and not both of them. You're going to run out of these and you need the memories in order to unlock side paths. Like if I want an extra 90 HP, I need 20 of these. If I want to come to this one over here for more magic damage, I need another 15. And if you're working on locking all your levels on both limit breaks, you can see these take 20 each. You're not going to really get a good progress. So focus on one limit break and work on that and go higher and higher. And the more your characters level levels up, the better. And all these levels were just from naturally first clearing all the content and farming co-op. So that's where I got all this power from was this specifically. And the battle tower gives you all the resources you need. I have not farmed the actual quest for these materials, just full clear. So as you go through and you're full clearing everything, I mean everything, come to synthesis, go to the one that you, you're able to do, you can do 20,000, clear that, do the 25,000, clear that, come to the next one, ice, lightning, go through all the solo quests and do the ones you can. Your characters are gonna level up as you're doing it, you're gonna get material that you need for everything, and that's how you slowly put it all together. Once you get to a really good point, and this again will happen naturally, enhancing your gear to level 10, 20, 30, 40, once you get to a really good point, you're going to come to the Crisis Dungeon. This has the biggest gain for what it is. So I ended up fully clearing both of these. And the first initial reward on something that only takes 32,000 power, and you don't need 32,000. I cleared this at 23,000 just by using semi-auto or manual gameplay. Very huge. I'm going to make a whole video on the combat system, uh, hopefully right after this one, somewhere around the material guide as well too. But first time clear and getting S rank, look at all the material you get here. You get seven of the upgrade material. You got a bunch of gill that you need for, uh, for upgrading. You've got a bunch of more enhancement here, the books for the proper material making. It just goes on and on and on. And then the full clear for this one later on, just so much resources from just completing this. And this is gonna help you not farm these materials because getting your weapon to level 90 takes a lot and a lot of these came from the first initial clears of the crisis dungeon and you've got to do this because you get three of these keys for free every sunday so don't let this overflow and unlock this as soon as possible here is where i got a big boost in my power i just noticed i didn't get s plus over here so i might have to go back to that so the crisis dungeon the battle tower the growth system is huge. You're gonna get it eventually. Don't rush it, don't push it, but try to sneak in some battles because you don't lose stamina if you lose a battle. If you go in and a quest says you have to use 20 stamina in order to start it, it doesn't take away that initial 20 until you full clear it. So if this one costs 13, if I went in there and I failed, I'd come back out and only lose one energy. You only lose one whenever you fail. And that is pro tip number two. Everything 
that's pretty much solo play, even co-ops can summon a Cactuar. And it's a rare enemy. If you see the Cactuars, they're going to give you bonus drops. So another really good way to get extra materials, especially when you're trying to get enhancement gear uh, for weapons. If you want to be able to properly fully farm this for these, because these don't drop every single run. And I just finished clearing this today, and that's what got me to 75. But you can go in, spend the 20, only if you clear it. But if you don't see a Cactar by the boss time comes up, you just go into the, the, the menu up here while you're in battle and retire. Come back out, you lose one stamina, go back in until a Cactar appears, and then full clear it with a Cactar because it drops bonus materials, gill, and the items that you're trying to farm. Every time a Cactar was uh, beaten in my quest, I got one of these guaranteed for each Cactar. So that's a really good way of spending it, but it is a really bad way of losing your stamina. So I don't recommend that early, but later on for the really good stuff, try that technique. Don't overdo it because if you had to retry 20 times, you wasted 20 stamina. Almost counterproductive, but try a couple times. You're like, okay, I went in once, twice, three times. All right, third time, Cactars didn't show up. I'll just full clear it and then carry on. But I didn't do too many of those. I didn't think it was worth it until now. And now I kind of do it once in a while because I still don't want to waste stamina, but it is a nice little pro tip there. So getting in here, Focusing on story, coming in first, clearing everything, and then that battle tower into that crisis dungeon is a huge boost in everything, your character. And then the equipment. So being able to do that crisis dungeon will get you to be able to level up all your weapons. And this is the last pretty much big tip, is that you want to upgrade multiple weapons, even if you're not using it upgraded including four stars as you can see here i have level 50 weapons of characters i don't even care about and i'm not planning to work on but every character and i have a gear build guide for this but every character has a sub weapon slot you need a total of 15 weapons to be a successful full max out party team and if you don't have 15 good strong weapons your character's sub equipment won't really reflect on your stats so it takes 50 percent of everything that's equipped here and puts it into the stats and that works for all three characters so that's an extra nine equipment on top of the two each the character needs so keep that in mind that even if you don't care about the character like i'm not going to be using uh glenn at all here but i upgrade his weapon because it's going to be a meat stick for a character that i'm not using and obviously you should upgrade characters weapons that go with your character like cloud wants power attack ability and he wants lightning boost right so boost power attack and boost lightning potential i want to look for weapons that do that so make sure you're leveling up weapons like that like Aerith currently has one see boosts his physical attack boosts his lightning potential this should be on cloud right now and i'll upgrade that at 60 level 70 level 80 just like the free umbrella we just got we get a purple version of it you want to be able to just max out your sub weapons as well. And first clearing everything plus doing co-ups uh, during this event is going to help you upgrade all those sub weapons and your main weapons. And every little tick you get, you're going to get just that much stronger. So the main takeaway here, clear story as soon as possible. Get into all the quests you can in solo content and co-op content. Anything that has a first clear reward, prioritize all that before you start farming. I did not sit there and farm one thing over and over and over because the game gives you so much. And a really good way to get a lot, see down here, it says clear premium quest level uncapped three. Do this. This is kind of your guidance of where you should be. And every time you clear one of these, the game should be telling you this is your next step. Make a weapon level 40. Make three characters level 40. Upgrade this, clear this quest. The game's kind of giving you that path of where to go. So this down here is really important to give you that progress slowly where you need to be going. So this should be your next step. Your next goal should be getting your character stream unlocked 400 nodes under growth. So just follow that down there. First clear everything, fully go through story, and you're gonna be able to get to the power level that I am completely as a free to play player with tons of stamina tonics still left behind. And never ever did I use these resets over here. Now I know this might seem like, oh, it's so easy, just level up stuff and complete quests. It seems like such basic information, 
but the way I did it, I ended up not wasting a lot of stamina. So when it finally comes to farming something I really need to, I'm going to have that stamina because I went to co-op and I ended up clearing everything I could for the initial clear at least once to get that bonus material. I went into all the events and got that. You can even see that I haven't even really worked on my material yet because I am going to be making a guide for this and I'm kind of just letting things happen naturally. Like these three stars just came out of nowhere, but I didn't make them level 10. Once I make these level 10, I'm going to get even more stats and I'm technically over 80,000 power level. I just haven't worked on certain things because I'm not rushing it. You don't have to rush it. That's the thing you got to take away here is that do what you can do while it's there and the rest just let your character grind all that experience so that it hits level 35, level 40. And as you gradually get more, go unlock the next quest that you can. I'm going to release a battle system video after this explaining how to go into quests that are well over your power level but still able to accomplish it because you've got to have a sort of understanding of how the game works. If you're not someone who's buying uh, the weekly or monthly passes that give you bonus materials, bonus synergies, you're going to be a little behind on all of this. So you want to make sure that you're using your stamina properly because it's a free to play that's going to run out very quickly eventually. Like all those energy boosts, they're going to be gone. So go in there, complete that story, unlock all of this, especially because in solo content there is premium quests and under the premium quests, your first clear, you get three a day give so much resources. The second I was able to clear this, that's how I ended up getting my weapon up to level 60. And then, cause it gave you 30 just for clearing it, right? And then yesterday I went into this one. I didn't think I could beat it. I was 68,000 when I did this. It requires 96. I win, went in, I beat it with a C rank, but I got 30 of these and boom, Cloud's weapon fully upgraded. And then I went to Crisis Dungeon and I ended up getting that full clear on the S rank and the full clear gave us 30 or 28 of these. And all I needed was to buy two more from the crisis dungeon for a couple of coins. I did two clears of this and I got enough to make it to level 90. So now my cloud's able to do higher level co-ops, higher level events, and it's going to help a lot. So don't be afraid to tackle those higher level quests because you only lose one stamina for failing. But that is pretty much everything I have here for advice for you guys. Yes, I got a green screen behind me. I thought it'd be more clean for the video. Some of you guys recommended that. If you do like the green screen, how it doesn't block as much, let me know in the comment section so I'll keep it up. But for now, hopefully something here helped you. I'll be releasing a materia guide, a battle guide, and how to beat these quests that are stronger than you with proper strategy. For now, thank you guys so much for watching. Keep on smiling, and I'll smell you all later.